always say America never loses wars, but uh, yeah, well, we didn't win that one per se. and gentlemen, we're back out again at a beautiful, minty little battle from the Seminole War, 1830s. I believe this battle, it took foot here. There was a couple of them. We're at the area where the white man came in and tried to run the Indians out quite a few times. A bunch of battles here. They eventually put a blockhouse. So we're gonna poke around here, see what we find. What do y'all say? 1830s in Florida, ha ha. Very first signal of the day, folks. You see a big old sprue there. We got an Indian fired bullet. We're at a battle site here from the 1830s, Seminole War. First signal was right there. I had y'all on, but I forgot to turn your microphone on, so we're filming it again. There we go, how about them apples? all over the place. About the same caliber. Sweet. More remnants of the old battle. Sounds a little mushroom, but we got a beautiful fired Seminole War bullet. Got a good target down here, folks. Deep. Upper 50s, 60s. Just check her out. Right here, let me guess. Another musket ball. It is not. What are you? That's a fired bullet, I do believe, actually. A little bit after our time period, but the blockhouse was here up until the 1850s, so it could be from that. Or it could be from a hunter. You don't know. Well, there you have it, folks. A big old bullet. Now Bob is on the board. He got himself a fired big old musket ball. Probably 58 caliber. Doesn't look like a 69, but sweet. Congrats. Yeah, you definitely gotta be careful digging out in the woods. Broad point. You get a signal, you grab it, you got those big old things. We're not gonna rebury that so somebody else can uh, dig it up and cut their hand over and we'll put it somewhere where nobody will get hurt. Be careful. All right, folks, we got a, the first high signal. Sounds really shallow though, so let's go in with the probe. It's really shallow. Modern bullet. Ha! 
heck off. Oh, we got a musket ball. Nice fire musket ball. There we go, big old 58 caliber. I don't think it's quite as big as a 69, but there you go. Another fire musket ball. This is the heat of the battle right here, at least one of them. Now, if y'all don't know diddly about the old Seminole War down here in Florida, it uh, really was the only war that we ever lost for uh, the old Vietnam. We uh, went in, tried to conquer them, actually three separate times, and we just couldn't get there every single time. First one, old General Jackson, he kind of had a wild hair up his hindinger and uh, went into Spanish territory. President at the time, and you know how presidents are, oh, you know. They don't want to say yes, they don't want to say no, so old General Jackson took it upon himself and went down to Florida. Went and blew up uh, a Negro fort. It was uh, runaway slaves, came down, and lived uh, harmoniously with the Seminole Indians. That's the main reason we kind of came down here and uh, the old big old iron fist of America, you know? But we came, invaded Spain, um, unannounced, didn't declare war, nothing like that. Killed a couple Brits. There was two British people we killed for uh, helping the slaves and the, the ex-slaves and the Seminole Indians with weapons, you know? So we hung them, you know? Second Seminole War was uh, actually Andrew Jackson when he was president. The old Jackson wanted to get down here and finish his business, so brought a whole bunch of troops down here and set forts up all over the dang place to try to clear the Indians out and ship them off to Oklahoma. We didn't beat them all though. And they're still down here in Florida, the Seminole Indian tribes. I know they say America never loses wars, but uh, and well, we didn't win that one per se. Old Jackson, Blacks and Jackson, Backs and Jackson, Kick ass and Jackson. Okay, I need both hands here. It could be junk or it could be good. I got no idea. Okay, big old thing of copper, so I don't know what's up with that. Get off of me, mother trucker. There we are. More lead. It's melted. So either the Indians or the Americans were camping right here. Sweet. Ooh, that sounds like somebody dumped some junk here. Oh, we'll check it. That's a koi to modern. Somebody dumped stuff there. All right, folks, we just dug a whole bunch of nail and little bits and bobs right in this little area here. 
a bunch of melted lead and nails and there's some charcoal and we found a button a native american bead and a little spear here in the past i got a pretty good signal just disturbing the dirt and it's uh moving the iron and we're getting good signals in an area we've hit so many times nice solid 60 Probably more melted lead, but you just never know. Could be a nice dropped musket ball. Nice button in here. There we are. That is more melted lead. This is probably where they had their huts and you know the white man came and burned them all down trying to ship them out to Oklahoma. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna dig this whole area out because it's chunky in here. And who knows? It might be arrowheads, it might be glass, we'll see, this is obviously where they had a campfire or something, it's real chunky. Alright folks, we got a musket ball signal, fifties. Fifty-three, could be a button or it could be melted lead. Could be something modern they dumped in here. Oh, there it is, musket ball. That's definitely Indian, smaller caliber. Um, I guess it could be a bucking ball from the Americans, but uh, yeah, the uh, Indians made ridiculous amounts of different sizes. And there's a musket ball. There's another. So it's definitely a bucking ball, I suppose. There's probably three of them. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a dropped bucking ball. There's a bunch of little ones. We could have even have found the big one earlier. Bob just dug a big old copper ring. It's probably from the uh, soldiers, I'd imagine. I guess it could be from the Indians, but I don't know, maybe it's something on a scabbard, a little ring. Who knows, but it was old. Most likely military. We just found a murder. Yeah, I seen that earlier. That made a nice bird. Yeah. Bob just found another dump too. Got a little dump and Bob found a... What the hell? It's got glass, yeah, it's definitely makeup. There's some like, foundation. Gold coins, just a bunch of glass and makeup. 
That's cool. Congrats. There's a modern dump here. It's like part of a toilet. this dump so let's get the poker around Good sights and out of good sights. I feel you, women. I feel you. It's like we got a big old bra line. Whew, sweating the cleavage. Yeah, I didn't see that. We got a whole hell of a lot of hitchhikers on us. Get off of there. Yeah. Get. Get, 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 get. Well, I guess the moral of the old story here is we got history. We got a lot of history down here in Florida, but it's sparse. So uh, the little bits you find here and there add up. All those little musket balls we found today and nails. They tell a story. It's a bit of history. History from Florida's past, albeit very violent and bloody past, but a past nonetheless. You folks up there in the Northeast are spoiled, I tell you, spoiled rotten. I still ain't ever found a large dent. And you know. I could easily travel up there and go find a large scent, even to Georgia, any day of the week, but money, money, honey, money. Don't tell me how to live my life, I won't tell you how to live yours, although I just did. All right, folks, time to go over the finds for today. Now, this is a little skirmish site that is actually two skirmish sites because there was two separate little battles here was an old uh, Indian area and the white man came and uh, you know tried to run the Indians out and after the fact we put a blockhouse up here to make sure they never came back so this is just bits and bobs that we found from you know 1830s to 1850s so check her out we actually got some newer stuff obviously from cross-contamination but let's show you the fun start off with mr. Bob here we had that little house site at the end that was actually more like a dump makeup thing. What in the devil are you? It says something Avon, Avon calling. Uh, we got the spoon. Yeah, it's about 20s or so. Teens, 20s. That was with all the Indian stuff right there. Now, that is a uh, copper ring that could have really been off to anything. Could have been horse related, could have been off the bayonet thing, you know, anything. You got a fire musket ball, 
You got a bunch of little bits and bobs of uh, lead. This guy, no idea what that is at all. Feels like hollow in there though. Don't know. And you got a big oval C here. It was an O, but he broke it. Lead piece. I got a giant iron spike. So one of our most complete muskety balls, but they're all fired. Big old sprue on there. A couple 58 caliber. Hope that's actually a bullet. That's 58 caliber fire musket ball. Uh, a couple smaller musket balls, really hit hard ones. The Indian ones are all over the place, all different sizes. And we hit all the melted lead. And we hit, oh, I just broke it, but a, a piece of copper or something. I have no idea what it was, but it was with all the, all the other stuff. Got a little nub on there. I don't know. Could have been anything. And then we got copper wire. So overall, for a battle site that we've hit many times, that's a good day. Any day you find Indian stuff's a good day.